Hello, this is Anut, and today I'm going to make a short video on how to get your own customized character running around in Unity, fully animated. Um, so this is Autodesk Character Generator. It's a free tool. There are paid options, but we're not going to use them. And um, well, maybe interesting if you're in the education community, so if you're a student or a teacher, then you can use this tool for free completely. Um, but for now, let's just sign in. Now, this is a completely web-based tool you can use to generate 3D models of characters. And I already have a few. Let's create a new one. So you can pick a template. I'm just going to go with the default one and create you know, some kind of generic guy. He, he looks pretty average, I think, Edgar. So let's customize him. And uh, the way this works is for the face, uh, for the facial features, you can blend between different faces. So for example, we have Stefan on the left and Timothy on the right, and we can sort of make a mix of those faces, but you can also replace them. For example, well, I don't like Stefan, so let's replace him with, um, okay. There are some funny faces there. <laughs> um, Mm. shouldn't be hanging too long on this subject but um, so let's pick bozo and then we can make him look happier look oh so cute um, and we can customize everything now this um, texture or skin selection you can of course edit it afterwards with uh, Photoshop if you don't like some details but they have a pretty nice selection so let's uh, Go for the guy with the evil beard. Give him some green eyes. And then, um, well, I think the hair selection is kind of lacking. But yeah, we'll have to <laughs> be uh, satisfied with this, I guess. So let's give him some, yeah, let's do this one. And then we can give him a body and make him wear some clothes. So, well, the default is fine. So let's pick some clothing and we're going to, well, I don't know, what would you like? And let's make him a military guy. So we're going to use this outfit and it's taking a while. This web-based tool is not very fast, but yeah, fast enough. So finish and give him a name. Let's call him uh, Jeff. I don't know why, but let's call him Jeff. And this is our 3D character and we can easily import him into Unity. Now, how do you do this? Well, you can click the generate character button and then you have a lot of options. So we can change his height. Um, now the things with the blue circle, they're paid features. So if we want to use the tool for free, we can use the low poly resolution, which is fine for a game. We can use all these kinds of maps. Uh, Unity supports them. Now we can't use facial animations with the free uh, version. And let's export triangles. Medium resolution skeleton is fine. Unity is Y up. And we can pick the Unity FBX format and let's hit generate. And now it's going to take a few minutes and generate a character for us. So it's actually generating a 3D model from our settings. So I already generated this guy, some dude and downloaded him. He's here. And it's going to give us an FBX file. And I'm going to create a new project in Unity. So let's call them uh, character test. We don't need Unity Analytics. And well, okay, let's do that here. Let's assume you already have a project and you want to get this working. So here's our project. Let's get a new scene with the default settings. And um, well, we can use something that's uh, provided with Unity, the character package. So let's import that. And this already has some default scripts for an animated character. We can use it with our own character. Oh, come on, faster. So let me quickly create a cube. And let's scale it up a bit. So this is like our uh, floor. 
And then in the standard assets, we have a character, a third person character, I think is nice. And then in the prefabs folder, there's a controllable third person character. So we can put him in the scene. Let's place him at uh, zero, zero, zero. Get the floor down a bit and let's start the game. And we see him here and he has all these uh, scripts that he can run around and animations and stuff. So what we can do is we can replace the model with our own. So let's import our some dude FBX file. It's taking a few seconds. Uh, yeah, okay, fix now. So here we have the model and it's very important under rig to specify that we're not having a generic animation type, but a humanoid, then hit apply. And it's again taking a few seconds. And we can drag our guy into the scene. So he's a bit bigger than Ethan, but yeah, who cares? Um, he looks fine, I guess. So what to do now? Well, we can actually go here and remove all the stuff that's below uh, the third person controller. So let's get rid of that. And then move our own model under there. Let's also reset our position of our own model to zero, zero, zero. And then um, we have to specify the avatar. I can just click here and pick the some dude unity avatar. So let's see what happens. I think he has to go upwards a little bit. No, no, it's fine. So it's working. Cool. Well, that's almost it. I just forgot one thing. Uh, the some dude also has an animator and we don't need it. So because the animator is under the third person controller. So we removed it or disabled it. And now it's, um, it's perfect. We replaced the generic unity character with our own character created in character studio or in character generated as it's called. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, will find this useful and goodbye.